We're back in the THP Tech Studio today talking about Graphite Design's AD95 iron shaft. Now AD ranges in 55 to 115 grams. You'll get a different, slightly different flex profile for each of them. In this case, it is stiff in the handle, firm in the midsection, and firm in the tip. Uh, I think at this point, I'll hit a few shots and give you my feedback overall and results here on the Foresight GC Quad and tell you uh, what we think and what we see. And while we haven't moved much, we're here in the hitting bay. Going to take some shots today with Graphite Designs AD95 and Stiff Flex. Uh, I've got the Bridgestone Tour B RX Golf Ball, which is my preferred ball at the moment. And we are actually using Callaway's Maverick Pro Head that should give you guys a baseline of what we're working with. So we'll hit a few shots and see how it goes. <laughs> First one's a little low in the head, and I think that's actually a great opportunity to talk about stability. Uh, this seems like a very stable shaft, and that probably plays with that stiff profile in the handle. That's definitely something I'm looking for, not something that chases in any sort of way. This held up really well to what I would consider to be not the best swing for me. We do have some nice peak height, but again, low in the face. Uh, not too surprising, so we'll hit a couple more and see what kind of results we can get. This is what I would consider a great strike for me. Covering that 190 pin really easily. This is a six iron, uh, so about the numbers I'm looking for. When you hit this really well, and, and I think that for me is a high performance swing, I definitely felt a nice load, but it never really gave away. And I, I think a lot of golfers are looking for that profile where the shaft is supportive of any kind of swing they want to put on the ball. And it looks like 8095 has done a nice job of that. Peak height's more what I'm looking for at 43 yards. And again, with that low spin profile of the golf ball, I'm getting spin numbers that I'm looking for in a six iron, definitely at that peak height. Let's hit one more here. All right. Taking a look. Uh, that is what I think is more or less my second fade. Going to get that peak height a little bit higher, I'm assuming. Taking a look really quickly. Ball speed's great. Uh, I think it's all for a sh from a shaft perspective while you want to focus on what the head's doing. I'm looking at how this shaft holds up in the different types of swings. So I think what I might do here for one more swing is try and trap draw a little bit and see how it uh, holds up as I load and bring around the the club into the zone. And not surprisingly, as I turn this ball over like I wanted to, distance is there, stability is there in the shaft, even though it's a very different swing from what I just put on there. And I can definitely go after as I did that time and not feel like I'm losing the shaft in any sort of way. What we'll do right now is go to table view and take a look at uh, the overall results. As we move into table view, I do want to say out there, if you're enjoying this sort of content, we have a lot of uh, different videos ranging from all kinds of products here on THP TV. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe and share your experiences with Graphite Design with us uh, as we move into this discussion here. Since we do have table view up, I do want to touch on the fact that we did talk a lot during the swings, what I was experiencing, the kind of swings I was putting on it. And I think the, the Graphite Design 8095 was incredibly supportive of the swing I was playing. As I said on the first one, a little bit thin, which is going to be that lower launch, maintained backspin really well, stability of the shaft played a big role there. Um, and then my highest launching shaft, which was, as you can see here, the third of the four of the group, great ball speed, but actually add a little bit of spin while getting quite a bit of uh, overall, a little bit lower launch, which is interesting. I think the one thing I really want to focus on here is it just the experience with the shaft itself? Playing stiff, firm, firm, and obviously that gets more aggressive as you get, I believe as you get heavier, you're going to experience stability in a way that a lot of people don't anticipate with graphite. Now I, I put a pretty quick move on the ball and I could absolutely see myself playing the AD95 even in stiff without feeling like I'm giving anything away or the club's chasing in any sort of way. I think that's a big teller there as we move 
into a more knowledgeable golfer base with graphite dis or graphite shafts in general. Um, not much else to say here other than I hope you get a chance to hit them for yourself and provide that feedback for us. Mm -hmm.